All right, guys, welcome back. Another episode of Hot Fireman Dips and Safety Tips. Today, I'm gonna be making for you my personal favorite dip. Nice, beautiful guacamole. In honor of Cinco de Mayo, which is right around the corner, we're gonna talk about the dangerous jalapeno. What if you get it in your mouth and you have an uncontrolled burn? We're gonna talk today about how to neutralize that burn. So what are our ingredients today for our guacamole? Obviously, base of it, avocados. The avocado should be dark all around and it should be soft so that you can almost put a thumbprint indentation in the avocado. As opposed to this hard green, no bueno. Cilantro, red onion, jalapeno, lemons, garlic, lime, and tomatoes on the vine. All right guys, so we're gonna start prepping for our guacamole today. Traditional method to make guacamole, a mortar and pestle. A lot of you might not have it, and that's totally cool. As an alternative, a bowl and a spoon. I'm gonna chop this cilantro up real good. One of my favorite parts to making guacamole. So I'm gonna be some good flavors. We're gonna give it a good twist against that stone. Get all that oil out. Next is our jalapeno. Right in here is where all the danger lies. You maybe rub your eye or you taste something and your finger touches your lips and you realize very quickly how spicy a jalapeno can be. So I'm gonna be some good flavor and we're gonna dump. Then what I do is I take the rest of my ingredients up until my tomato and I just add it all in the mortar and pestle. Before we get to our tomatoes, our avocado. How do we cut an avocado? Right, this looks pretty crazy. Plunge it into the avocado, you're gonna hit the seed. It's that big seed that looks like a nut. Work the knife around the seed until you go 360 degrees back to your original point. You twist the knife, look at that. Now here's the tricky part. People look at this and say, how do I get this out? We take our knife, <gasps> right down in, work the knife, little twist, and your seed is out. Not that hard, but some people just never, never learn. I'm gonna get that avocado all scooped out. You want all that flesh, no skin. Next, we're gonna focus on our tomatoes. This is gonna wrap up our guacamole. All right, so I make a concasse, and if you're interested in learning more about how to make a concasse, check out our episode where we made a melanzano salata, a Greek dip that is absolutely delicious. All right, guys, our tomatoes ready. I'm gonna pull it out of the boiling water, get it into an ice bath, stop the cooking process, and this is why you are gonna wanna check out episode three our melizana salata. Look at that skin, come right off of the tomato. All right guys, we're gonna wrap up our guacamole. We have our avocado and all of our ingredients in the mortar and pestle. And for a lot of people, the favorite part is just mashing it up, all right? We take some salt, drizzle some salt, mash those avocados up, Mix it with the other ingredients. It's not a bad idea to have a spoon handy. We are going to add our tomatoes. We'll mix that around. We'll, you don't want to mash the tomatoes. You just want to fold the tomato in to the guacamole. All right, guys, our guacamole is just about wrapped up. Look how nice that looks. Oh, man, it really all came together. I want to give a shout out to Tostitos, right? Hint of lime. Guys in the firehouse, bite. For the last chip. Thank you Tostitos. All right guys, so we just crushed a super good guacamole uh, and I want to talk a little bit today, you know we always wrap up our videos with a safety tip about if you're in the kitchen and you're working with a hot pepper, something you might have experienced already, uh, I know I have, is if you get that hot pepper in your mouth accidentally. Uh, it might be through just touching a seed or actually eating it. Maybe you're a little heavy-handed. 
and you just, you just got just really, got really, really hot, really hot burning, burning in your mouth. In your what, mouth. Do you do? what do you do? A couple of different things. You can drink milk. The proteins form a bond on nerve receptors. Yes, I am a fireman, but I did go to college. You can drink alcohol. Oh my God, how fun is that? The oil from the pepper and water don't mix. You can use a teaspoon of sugar, and the sugar actually neutralizes that heat. You can eat chocolate, right? I know all you, everybody has chocolate in their house somewhere. Or you can chew bread. Uh, if you're a CrossFit guy and you don't eat bread, you're out of luck. Uh, the bread soaks up the oils. So safety, guys, all right? We want to make sure that you're safe. We hope you enjoyed this dip. If you did and you think that you want to see something else, give a comment. Let us know a dip you want to know about and something you might like. I'd be happy to make it for you. I have a recipe stack this big that I want to get out to you guys. So uh, I hope you did enjoy it. Subscribe. We want more people knowing what we're producing. And like we say in Brooklyn, so I'm going to be some good flavor.